Michael McKillop from Ireland, the uh, world record holder. He'll be in lane one in the green uniform. Dean Miller of Great Britain in uh, lane two. Faisal Othmani from Tunisia in three. Majid Dejami of uh, Algeria in four. It's uh, Charmi of Tunisia in five. Masturi of France in six. Hanani of Algeria in seven. Dria of Ukraine in eight. Aharek of Morocco in nine. And uh, Brad Scott of Australia in lane ten. And listen to the cheer for Michael McKillop. That's the T37 class, so these are athletes with cerebral palsy. Uh, more mild classes, but you will see some imbalance side to side. Big cheer for the British athlete, Dean Miller. As is customary. So McKillop of Ireland, definitely the one to uh, to beat in this race. Just all being introduced to the crowd there. Brad Scott of Australia in the outside lane at the moment. One of the questions when you have a dominant athlete like this is when will he go? Will he go right off the start? He seems to have a fairly considerable difference, uh, a considerable advantage. So it's the start of the men's 1500 metres T37 final and they're away cleanly. And it's Michael McCullough in the green of Ireland and the inside lane who instantly goes to the front. Brad Scott of Australia coming to join him. And we see the uh, Moroccan in the middle there. But it's uh, McKillop who looks like he's going to try and lead this race from the front the whole way. Just Scott of Australia for company at the moment. And Aharak of Morocco. McKillop looks like he's just getting into getting into his pace, but he doesn't necessarily look, he's, look like he's pushing the pace all that much. Hasn't strung the field out. So it's McKillop of Ireland from Scott of Australia, from Aharak of Morocco, and the whole field quite bunched up at the moment, which suggests it's a fairly slow time. And the Miller of Great Britain just uh, on the outside, just uh, working his way up through the field, making sure he doesn't get boxed in. But it's uh, McKillop and Scott, and Scott has now just eased ahead of McKillop. And I think McKillop is totally fine with that. I think he's saying, OK, go ahead. Let's see what we can do. Let's get a little separation. And now you can see him coming right back past. Charmy of Tunisia leading the, the pack, but the two runners in green leading the way at the moment. McKillop of Ireland, Scott of Australia, and Miller of Great Britain coming up into third to a huge cheer from the crowd. The Moroccan just behind him. But it looks to me at the moment as though we're going to get the medalists from these front two. McKillop of Ireland and Scott of Australia. I think the question's going to be who has, who has the next gear right now because I don't think these guys have shifted down at all. Well, just looking at the PBs, you'd expect uh, McKillop to get, to get the gold and uh, Scott to get the silver and then maybe Charmy to come through for the bronze. But at the moment, it's uh, Miller of Great Britain. Coming through at 700 metres. We have, we have McKillop going through and opening a bit of a gap. A little bit of daylight right there, and that might be the last we see of him. See where he is coming through 800. So he's on course for about four minutes. The world record is 3.59.54. So if he got to move on, he could even get a new world record. But I think he'll be concentrating. It's a race situation just on getting the gold. It's McKillop from Scott, and the cheer tells you that Miller of Great Britain is also coming up through the field. He's uh, in third place, just edging ahead of the Moroccan at the moment. I think this is going to be a race for second place. McKillop turned it on, and he looks like he's just getting faster with each lap. That second lap was faster than the first one. I don't think he's going to look at a world record just because that first lap was, was a relatively pedestrian lap. So here comes McKillop. 258, 259. It goes across in three minutes and four seconds, so three, three or five, so it won't be a world record, but uh, he's going to get the gold medal. You can hear from the distance between the bell sounding how far ahead he is now of that pack. And he's definitely picking it up. We'll see what he can do. He can come through with a 50-second lap. 50 and change. He went 63, so 67, 63. 
We said it wouldn't be It'd a world be, record, but no, hard prize, nobody but I... stalled him. <laughs> I think he's just going to be just outside of it. But, and like you say, it was that opening lap that uh, did for him. But he's absolutely storming down the back straight. Oh, he's blown the pack away, blown the pack apart. And uh, Scott of Australia, who was absorbed by the pack, is now getting ahead again. Uh, Miller of Great Britain going backwards at the moment. So it looks like uh, Scott of Australia is going to get the silver medal, but <laughs> waving to the crowd, Michael McKillop. What a character he is. Blowing some kisses. Waving both sides. I don't think he's going for the world record. He's going for the gold medal, and he's going to enjoy this last 100 meters, that's for sure. It's gold for Michael McKillop of Ireland. Though so he did go new Paralympic record. New Paralympic record, 4.08.11, and confirmation that Scott of Australia got the silver there. So well done to Michael McKillop. He just destroyed that field completely and set a new Paralympic record in the process. And off he goes, Michael McKillop. On his lap of honor, richly deserved. Looked as though he was running within himself to start with. Lovely, lovely smile to finish. Waved to the crowd. Waved one side, then the other, then back to the original side, and then came across the line, both arms outstretched. Looks like that race played out exactly as he planned it. Go out slowly, keep the pack in, and then, and then just pick it up with each lap, and that's exactly what he did. So Michael McKillop getting the gold for Ireland with a Paralympic record of 4.08.11. Brad Scott of Australia, 24-year-old, with a season's best, 4.14.47. Mohamed Charmi of Tunisia getting the bronze, 31-year-old, 4.14.90. Regional. Team record. McKillop has to be pretty happy right now. Team McKillop would be absolutely delighted, I would think. And well done to them. So we see some wheelchairs on the back straight over there. Warming up, getting their one lap of warm up. Oftentimes, one of the most difficult <coughs> things for the athletes is that that you come into these races.